Hey everyone, it's Hannah from RP Studios here, and today I'm going to show you how to make digital art easier by using a reference photo right in your project. So what you're going to want to do, first of all, is find a photo that you like off of the internet or one that you've taken, and anyway, you're going to save it to your gallery, and then you're going to go to add, and then you're going to actually insert a photo, or you can do a file. I'm going to do a photo. So I'm going to insert a photo that I had saved earlier and you just press on that and it will insert it right into your project where you're working. Okay, so after that is in there, you'll notice that it has created an entire new layer, which is good because you can switch back and forth between your working layers and your reference layer. So you can actually create right on top of the reference photo. So it's way easier to do proportions and get that image that you really want. And so you can focus on the actual art that you're doing. One thing that you do wanna be careful on when you're doing this is you do not want to plagiarize an image that you find online. So make sure that your art is quite a bit different from the photo that you do reference. Like you can see here, I'm doing more of an abstract version of the picture. And I'm actually using the ballpoint pen brush at the very smallest setting and I'm creating little dots. And these dots actually create the illusion of a gradient in shade and depth. And so by that it kind of gets this cool abstract effect while still not looking too unrealistic, I guess. Um, I use an Apple Pencil on an iPad Air to draw on my Procreate. And if you don't know this, um, Procreate is $10 on the App Store. So honestly, if you have an iPad or if you're really serious about digital art, I would say that this is a great way to go because there's so many things you can do in th and it's not the cost of an Adobe subscription monthly or anything. It's just a one-time fee. So that's why I really like to use it. Um, but yeah, um, as you can see here, I'm just adding more and more and more to my zebra here, and I'll be able to show you what it's like in the end. Um, but anyway, I would love it so much if you guys would subscribe and like if you liked this video, and comment down below what you want to see next, or what you don't want to see, or if you have any more suggestions for me, because I'm an artist too, and I could always take suggestions from you.